Hello everybody, in this uh, most recent update with the Mississippi Acres Preserve that is currently available in early access to uh, content creators, they also have added in the Truax Kudu. Now this is something nobody expected to have happen, and I am extremely happy to get out there and try and find a few of them to show you guys, so uh, that's what today's video is going to be focused on. I have yet to take a look at any of them, so I'm really excited to see what they look like. I'm hoping they look good, because the Kudu are one of those species where I think it would would be pretty easy to uh, mess them up if they get like the curls wrong or uh, anything like that but I guess we'll go see and hopefully they look amazing Ooh, there we go we got ourselves some kudu out there that is a couple level threes and ooh, that's a good level four there so we have uh, finally found some of them and uh, from a distance they don't look too bad I guess we'll need to get closer and take them out to actually uh, fully see what they look like but that is a, a good sign that we've seen a few now I mean, from this angle, this level 4 looks pretty cool. I don't know how it's going to look once we get closer. Uh, they definitely look different than the old ones did, but uh, as far as I understand, this is kind of what Kudu look like. Uh, they don't necessarily have a full curl unless they're larger. I think we can get this third one. I mean, it's going to go down, it just might take it a little bit. Uh, let me know down in the comments once we pick up these uh, kudu, if they are realistic, if you guys have any experience with seeing them in real life, because I know there are a decent amount of people that watch the channel that are from either South Africa or other parts of Africa, and so it would be nice to know what your input is on it, because I have no clue, like, really what they're supposed to look like, and uh, what they look like in different locations, I kind of just have to go off of uh, images that I've seen online. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of them. But here is our first look at one up close, and let's go ahead and see that. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so I kind of like this. I don't know, like I, like I said, I don't know how realistic this is, but I think that's looking good actually. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, we will tax it so that we can get a good look at it in the lodge. 142 though, that's a good one. So diamond is going to be 151.60. Good to uh, know, but that's kind of cool, I like that. And like I was saying, I think that we're probably not going to see full curl until we get the bigger ones, but I think that's realistic. I don't know, I'm going to have to do some more research into it, but I mean, they look pretty cool at least. And now for a slightly smaller one with different colored horns. And, ooh, that, that looks good. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Okay, so I like this one a little bit better than that four. This just looks amazing. That is so cool looking. Again, I don't know if it's realistic, but I love the way that looks. That is really cool. So it looks like they're scored based off of horn length, overall spread, circumference at the base, and then circumference at each of the quarters. So, a pretty simple scoring system. But I think that that's a pretty good looking level 3 right there. Really nice. We uh, kind of butchered this one, but I mean, it is what it is. We just need to get it down mainly. And uh, for a level 2, that actually looks pretty nice. I uh, do like that. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, uh, certain angles, the lighting kind of like... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. The hair almost like gets a greenish hue to it. But it's only at certain angles, so I'm assuming it's a lighting issue. Uh, that is a little bit weird. It only happens in the kill screen from what I've seen. They don't look like look like this when uh, they're actually still alive, which is uh, interesting. I don't know about that. But uh, I do like the true X themselves, but that, uh, <laughs> that um, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to call it. That uh, reflective fluorescent looking uh, glitchiness on the fur, uh, that might need to get looked at. But overall, that is a really good looking kudu. And I'm pretty happy with them as of now, even though we've only killed three. Uh, we'll continue hunting around and see if we can find any more that look uh, different from the ones that we've just took out and kind of compare them. Okay, so we got another kudu that just warning called in this uh, brush, which isn't exactly the most ideal place to have to take one out, but at least we uh, know it's close. Let's go ahead and prone down and just try to sneak up, see if we can at least spot it. If not, we can try to push it out of the uh, brush and into the fields. That'll probably be the easiest way to do it, but I do want to try and uh, sneak up on them first. I also did want to mention that uh, so far, 
After a day of playing on this update with the new map and uh, playing on Verhonga a little bit for the Kudu, I gotta say this is probably the most bug free update I've played as of now. Now keep in mind I have not played on other maps, I've only played on uh, Verhonga Savannah and Mississippi Acres Preserve, but between those maps, I have yet to run into any major game breaking bugs, which is a really good thing because as a lot of you know we've had quite a bit of trouble with uh, bugs in the past year and a half of the game and it's looking like this might be the smoothest update we've had in a very long time uh, stuff like the FPS is issue is completely fixed I haven't ran into too many bugs at all the only thing that I've noticed is very very occasionally I have uh, issues with uh, tracks not showing up immediately but that's honestly not that big of a not that big of a deal compared to uh, previous issues that we've had to encounter with the last couple releases so Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. It's been a pretty smooth experience, which is amazing. Uh, who knows how it'll be after I play a little bit longer and play on other maps, but as of now, it's been pretty good. Alright, so this guy has got up and he's trying to walk away. I think we should probably get his attention so that he doesn't. Because uh, we definitely want to take him out before he gets too far away. Uh, he's attentive now. Uh, see if we can get him to go alert. There we go. And down goes that nice level 3. So, we're going to get another look at a level 3. Hopefully it'll be a little bit different than the last one we took out. But um, I'm not entirely sure how many variations they're going to have for them. Let's uh, see if we can get a close look at this guy. That's a nice one. It's kind of like a tighter one. I really like the, uh, the ridges on the base of the horns. I do think that's pretty cool. Uh, once again, I don't know if it's realistic, but... I do really like it. Let's uh, try to get a clear spot to claim this. There we go. 12740, and yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that a lot. You know, whether or not this is realistic or not is still uh, to be decided by me because, like I said, I don't really know much about what they are supposed to look like in real life, but just off of, uh, I guess, the visual look of them in game, I do think that they're a pretty good looking true racks. I definitely think they're one of the nicer looking ones so far, but I'm not entirely sure if it's realistic. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and look now, uh, because I kind of feel like I should probably get an idea of what they are supposed to look like in real life in order to further judge them, so I'm going to go do that real quickly. Uh, from what I just looked at online, it they look alright. It's not perfect, but they look decently accurate. I think the biggest difference is uh, the ones that I'm seeing on Google don't actually have uh, the ridges at the base of the horns, but other than that, they're not too bad. I'm going to need to see a diamond in order to really uh, fully determine whether or not these are realistic, because uh, a lot of the ones that I see online do have quite a bit more curl than the ones we've seen here. Uh, however, those could just be big ones, because a lot of times when you search uh, any image of an animal on Google, it'll bring up a lot of the bigger ones. So it could just be that we need to find ourselves a bigger kudu. So we will try to find a level 5 at some point, or at least a big level 4, and uh, get a better comparison uh, with that. But uh, so far, they're not bad. They're definitely not bad. I wanted to do the first bit of hunting during the daytime so you guys could actually see them pretty clearly, uh, but unfortunately they do drink at night so we will be doing the rest of this video at nighttime, hopefully increasing our chances of finding more kudu. Now I just switched the time so I don't expect them to be here immediately, but uh, once we find some we will uh, jump to it. Ooh, that's a good level 4 right there. Let's go ahead and take that guy out. I think that might be one of the better ones that we have seen this whole time, so let's uh, make sure we get this guy down. And there he goes. Uh, I don't know if there's any others. Yes, there is. Get that level 2 as well. Not a great shot, but it should still go down. Uh, there's also a 3. We can put a shot into him as he's running away. That would be great. And there we go. Once again, not a good shot, but... They should eventually go down. And we also have some on the opposite side over here. There's a decent level 3. As far as I know, that's the only male here. So let's uh, try to get him once she puts her head down. And there we go. Got a decent hit on that guy. And also, there's one other thing that I wanted to show you guys real quickly. Because this was a question I saw a few people ask. Can you do the 22 trick with the 22 Hornet? 
The answer is no. You can't. <laughs> they flee. So, uh, yeah. You can't do the 22 trick with the 22 Hornet. Unfortunately, but, uh, I mean, it is what it is. At least that makes it so the 22 Long Rifle still has its uses. And, uh, it still has its, uh, benefits to being carried over the 22 Hornet. Okay, so that is a 91 to 105 track, which is typically level 4s or 5s, so, uh, we definitely need to figure out what left that track. It's none of the ones that I shot as far as I know, because that one's a running track, and none of the ones that we took out were actually spooked at all, so, uh, maybe we've got a big one somewhere near. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. <laughs> uh, stupid lion. Oh, that scared me so bad. <laughs> who who would have known that I'd get that scared by a, a lion running past me, but... Well, it happened. <laughs> My gosh, that was something. Well, here we go. We finally made it over to uh, collect these kudu, and I believe this is the foreign. That's actually really good looking. Okay, I'm actually really happy with that. Um, now that we have got a look at a bit of a better one. Ooh, that's a wonky dude, too. That's a really wonky one, so... That's the, uh, Truex taking into effect there. I mean, these are essentially the same horn, but one's really twisted. That's cool. I like that, but, uh... I definitely want to see what it looks like when it's even. But that's, a uh, that's a pretty good kudu right there. 141. Definitely solid. Let's, uh, tax that real quick, so we can take a look at it in the Trophy Lodge. Because that is cool. I do like that a lot. All right, well, here is another one of them. This is one of the level threes. It's going to be really hard to see anything right here, but uh, let's uh, just pick that up. So actually, that's the two. Uh, the twos, uh, obviously, they're just twos. They're not going to look crazy, but I think they look pretty solid. They're definitely not too bad for being level twos. There is the level three. Let's go ahead and pick that up. This is a 127. This is actually a pretty decent level three. Uh, not too bad. Definitely a decent one. Close to gold. Got decent curl. You know, I'm liking these a lot. Uh, they may not be perfect, but I think they at least look good. And uh, I do like the way they've gone with them. I really want to see a level 5 now. Because already, like, this is about the height of an old level, uh, like a big level 4. They've definitely increased the size of them, which is something a lot of people wanted. Because uh, a lot of people thought that they were kind of underwhelming. And I can kind of agree they were a bit underwhelming before. Hopefully the level 5s look absolutely massive now. It would be uh, cool to see what a Bighorn's level 5 looks like. Alright, so here is the last one that we downed. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at that. It seems like it's a small level 3 and uh, 127. It's about the same as the last level 3 actually. But uh, another good looking one. I really like these so far. So I think for the rest of the video, we are going to uh, only show off the best of the best kudu that I can find. I'm going to spend probably the next day or two looking for some, and then we will uh, put a couple decent ones right after uh, this part of the video. And then we're going to go over the patch notes after that, because there is a lot of awesome uh, patch notes that came through with this update. And I think you guys are going to be pretty happy about a few of them. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, go look for some more kudu. And, uh, I guess if we get anything good, it'll be next in the video. And about one hour later, we have finally come across what we were hoping to find during this video. And that is a Diamond Potential Lesser Kudu True Rex. Uh, let's hope that it does make Diamond. That would be absolutely amazing. Honestly, from this distance, it's looking beautiful. I'm uh, already impressed and we haven't even got close to it yet, but it's looking really good. I like the curl on it. Let's uh, just hope it looks as good when we get close. Um, I'm going to assume there's going to be multiple horn types, because that's kind of how they've always done it. Anytime something gets true racks, it gets a little bit more uh, horn types, except for some of the really old species. Like the first ones they did true racks with, those don't have quite as much variety, but... Or, uh, it doesn't have quite as much variety, but with some of the more recent ones, there's lots of variety. So, I'm going to assume it'll be the same for the Kudu, but oh my gosh, that looks cool. I do kind of wish the coloration was darker. I don't necessarily like that it's more of a brown, because I don't think that's how Kudu are in real life. From the pictures I've seen, it seems like they're darker than this, but... 
Okay, I've got to uh, interject here real quickly uh, post recording because I was actually completely wrong about the coloration of the horns. I did a little bit of a closer search on Google about what lesser kudu horns are actually supposed to look like and to be honest, they got the coloration spot on. I was uh, completely wrong in assuming that they should be darker horns just because the older ones were darker, but I, I was wrong. And uh, I'll admit that, so ignore everything I say from here on in the video about the coloration of the horns because it turns out this really is the way they look. There are there are some that are a little bit darker, but uh, for the most part, they did pretty good with the coloration, and in that case, this might be one of the best true racks they've ever made. So, uh, yeah, that being said, let's get back to the video. I mean, either way, that's cool. Let's uh, get a quick picture like this. Alright, so I got a couple pictures. Let's go ahead and claim this thing. It is a diamond 153 and that is a max weight kudu. Oh my gosh. Uh, that is pretty nice. I gotta say, I like the curl on it. Um, this one's like got a really tight rack. I'm curious if there's some that have uh, wider horns. That would be nice. But that's really cool. We got ourselves a diamond true racks lesser kudu. Uh, as far as I know, this is probably the first one ever killed. I don't think any of the other creators that have access to this uh, early access build are actually going for Kudu much, so I'd say it's safe to say we have the first ever Diamond Truerax Lesser Kudu, and it's a beast too. A f max weight, 153.90. Something tells me that they probably end up scoring higher, because that's barely over Diamond and it's max weight. That, that can't be the biggest they get, uh, horns wise, but I guess we'll see. And as far as I understand, it seems that with this, uh, creator early access, they're actually going to have our trophies carry over because of the way they've done it this time. It uses our game save, but then just applies the update to it. So I'm thinking that we'll probably be able to keep everything. I don't know entirely though, so uh, it still might be all gone once the update goes live. I guess we'll see, but let's uh, go ahead and put this kudu right here. Man, that is uh, pretty sweet. So it's about the same size as the old one actually. The only difference is like the tightness of the curl, I guess. Um, I don't know. I like the coloration of the old ones better, but I do like the, uh, the shape of the new ones better. So it's kind of 50-50. I'm a bit split on whether or not this is better or not than the old one. Obviously, it's going to be nicer that they, uh, can have more variety, but not sure how I feel about the coloration still. I guess, uh, I'll need to hunt them a bit more, but that definitely doesn't look bad. I do like it. It's just, uh, I wish it was a little bit darker coloration. But I've noticed with a lot of the true racks, the coloration isn't always perfect. I'm sure they'll try to improve those in the future, but it's uh, nice to see that it at least looks good shape-wise. And I'm going to assume there probably is some darker ones that we just haven't seen. Uh, maybe we'll have to go for another diamond, but that's a good looking one. I really like the way that looks. Now, I think before we end this video, we should probably go over all of the patch notes since there is a decent amount of them to take a look at. And I did promise you guys that we would read off the patch notes. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So as we go over the patch notes, it starts with a uh, new features. Truex is now enabled for the lesser kudu. And we just took a look at the Truex kudu. They look pretty good. Not perfect, but definitely uh, decent. I'll, I'll take it at least. I like them so far. Uh, improvements. We've made some significant FPS changes to boost performance, which I've talked about a little bit in, I believe, my first uh, look video at the new reserve. Uh, massive overhauls of to animal update threading. Improvements to population distribution on reserves. Uh, increased level of detail granularity across species needing level of detail improvements. So that's all FPS related ones. Um, we've conducted some fur quality enhancements for all animals, which we've kind of noticed that already. They've changed some of the furs on them. Uh, there's been a visual overhaul for some of the input icons and buttons. The feeding clue meshes for predators. No more blood splatters have been updated. Now we get to the bug fixes. Critical and featured. Fix the issue of various weapon packs and Parquet Fernando DLC missing from Xbox players' libraries. Fix the broken fast travel issues across a number of reserves. Dog collision with the player character is fixed. Uh, now we get to the animals and environments category. Radio towers across various reserves no longer defy gravity. That was kind of a weird one. I remember seeing a few of those. 
Um, animals will not become unharvestable if there are too many corpses unclaimed. That's a great fix, because that's an issue I've ran into when hunting geese. That's really good that they're finally fixing that. That's another one that's going to make a lot of people happy. Uh, fix the problem of EU rabbits not fleeing into their burrows as they should in Hirschfeld, and that's another good fix, because I noticed that happening quite often. That happened to me so, so much. Um, sounds will not persist anymore after walking through bushes. That's another good one. Standardized fur rarity tier waiting for all species. So I'm guessing that rares will be like the same rarity across all species. So for example, albino will be the same rarity no matter what species it is. I, I think that's what they mean. I don't know. But if that's the case, that's actually kind of nice because there were certain species where it was just impossible to get a rare. Uh, for example, lynx and fox, it was so difficult to get uh, albinos and melanistics. You just didn't see them too often, so maybe they're going to make that a little bit easier. And maybe they're actually going to make melanistic red deer a little bit easier to find as well because that was another thing where it was so difficult to get one. But I guess maybe that'll be different now. It's hard to say. I don't really fully understand what it means, but I'm guessing that it says like rarity tier waiting. I'm guessing that does mean like uh, just like the how common each of them are. And it's probably like standardized across all species. And uh, it's it's waiting as in like W E I G H T I N G, not like uh, waiting for something to happen, but the other waiting. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. Just kind of balancing the rarity. Did a naming pass on all fur variations all should have string names now, not just common. And that's another good change because with most species there was multiple different fur types that would just say common. And as somebody new to the game that would probably confuse you a little bit when they say common but there's different types of common. So I, I kind of like that. Definitely a good change. Now we get to the weapons and gear. Fix the issue where turkey collars were not included in Rancho del Arroyo Reserve. Oh, so you get the turkey collar from getting Rancho now. That's a good one. Um, user interface and multiplayer changes. Multiplayer fixed a crash which could occur when showing waypoints to another player. Uh, fix an issue where discovering a new need zone caused the previously discovered need zone to disappear on map UI. So this is something that a lot of people have been complaining about for a very long time. The fact that need zones kind of cover each other up. That is no longer an issue. If you have stacked need zones, it will tell you each individual species that is drinking in that location which is fantastic it's such a good change and it's long overdue in my opinion this should have been done a long time ago but i'm happy that they finally got around to doing it and that is all we have for the patch notes we don't really have anything else to read off i'm assuming that there'll be more patch notes once the patch goes live kind of talking about mississippi and all the things relating to that so uh that's all we got for now but i hope you guys enjoyed this little video here it has been uh, quite a bit of fun to uh, take on some of these Kudu True Racks. Definitely like the way they look, and uh, we can actually go into one of the other rooms and take a look at them. Uh, let me actually just jump to another lodge. Alright, so now we got a bunch of the Kudu lined up, and they do look pretty sweet. I'm really happy with these things the more that I look at them. I definitely would change the color to make it a little bit darker because I don't think I've seen too many pictures where the horns are this coloration, but uh, it's not bad. Like it's it's not the end of the world. They still look really good and this guy's such a wonky one. I think that might be one of my favorites besides the diamond one. It uh, looks pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video there. I hope you all enjoyed. This was a first look at the uh, Kudu True Rex along with a diamond True Rex Kudu. So I hope you all enjoyed watching it if you're brand new to the channel channel be sure to subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another video with that being said thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next one peace